Yo, what is up guys? Boris here coming to you guys with an update. The new Fujitora version 2 is dropping very soon on JP and we've already started the discussion about this new batch over on my Discord. I've cleaned it up, I've made it a lot better. We have top team discussion channels for each individual team. So if you're someone who uses Sanji a lot or maybe you want to know an NL team or a Magellan team, we have made individual channels. You guys can minimize them if you don't want to see that many channels. Uh, and as well, we also had uh, some, we've added some new channels and new player help, ways uh, for you guys to find new friends and JP and uh, global ID friend searches. And we just have overall a lot more options. We're trying to make this a great discussion play. So the, again, the discussion is already happening on this new batch. Seems like he's going to be really good. So let me go ahead and get started, guys. Here's the Reddit page. Explain to you guys what exactly everything is going to be. So the new Fujitora, guys, he is... Uh, amazing his special deals 20 times character uh, times 10 so 20 times his damage 10 times that's 200 times essentially against one unit but here's the thing guys when he's your captain changes all orbs to matching and delays all enemies for one turn so overall his special is actually not that good unless you use him as a captain which is different from uh, most of the other units in this case the new Fuji is good because of his captain effect you take a little bit more damage, but he boosts base 3.25 all slashers. So he's a slasher captain. Also boosts HP by 1.2, so you take more damage, but you have more HP. Boost slashers by an additional 1.3 following a chain of good, great, perfect. So apparently from what people are telling me, that's a 4.2 boost. This guy's a base 3.2 going up to 4.2. That's insane. Now you might say good, great, perfect means that you miss out on damage. Well, there's two things. First off, good, great, and perfect means that you get to heal with meat orbs, but it also means that you can bring someone like the brand, you know, the, inv the not the invasion, the adventure mode Mihawk. He's sort of been the new god of slasher teams, and now Fuji overtook him, but they actually work really well together. The adventure mode Mihawk will lock your chain, so even if you go good, great, you don't lose any chain bonus. The damage potential is out the roof. I'm going to show you guys a quick example. Someone showed this to me on stream earlier today. 13 million damage. To Psy. That's insane. This, and this is no map effect. This is actual, you know, raw damage. This does involve the uh, Flying Dutchman, which will lower the opponent's defense. And then you use Cavendish uh, for his conditional boost. But this is a crazy team right here. And there's definitely more setups that are possible. This is just a base setup someone showed me on stream. It's really, really powerful. 32 million damage, guys. I don't think I've ever even seen that before. That's uh, how much damage this guy does. It's ridiculous. He's like Log Luffy tier when Log Luffy originally came out. However, he only works with Slashers. Next up, guys, the new Rebecca is really powerful, too. Um, five turns of chain and lock, really good. Changes uh, neighboring orbs to matching 50,000 fixed damage. So she, she's going to be probably my, one of my go-to fixed damage dealers if I ever need her. Um, Kairos, everyone's saying, is really powerful. He pretty much outclasses completely 3 to Izoro. Boost Slasher's attack by 1.75 for three turns instead of two. That means you can use him on a mini boss. And then when you get to the boss room, if he has a preemptive, you'll still have your boost up. Uh, as well as also recover two turns of Chain and Despair if that wasn't enough and a little bit of damage. As well as the fact that he has a Sailor effect similar to Luchi, Green Luchi, who does two times additional attack uh, on tap. So on good, great, or perfect, you're going to deal extra damage. Similar to Raid Sabo. Very good unit here. And uh, we have two more, two more here. New Bellamy, remove 50% of your HP, but you deal 10 times that amount to one enemy. So, I mean, if you, de depending on the amount of HP you have, you could deal... Someone was saying you could deal up to a million damage with this. Um, that, so, I don't know. I'll leave that I'll leave that up to you guys. But, uh, you know, double Hody Jones teams, max limit break, maybe. And then remove three turns of threshold, attack up and defense up for one enemy. Change the own slot to Psy. A, a utility unit. Don't know how much uh, play he'll see. But he's, you know, just like, more of these utility units you can never get enough of. And finally, new Violet changes meat, block tandem, and empty to matching orb. So, really good orb converter. Removes two turns of paralysis and special seal. Herself can't be sealed. And that's 0.5 to the chain multiplier. It's definitely, you know, awesome utility unit. I'm sure she's going to see a lot of random play with a lot with a lot of, you know, a lot of bosses sealing your special nowadays. Um, might even help out with, um, potentially, with uh, Garp. We'll have to wait and see, although she only does two turns. Sugo runs from, starts on the 30th, guys. Guaranteed on 5th and 9th. All gold first multi. Oh, you can only pull Powerhouse Slasher and Driven Legends. Guaranteed new character on 3rd and 7th. And Fujitora is rated up for the Sugo. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably... This is obviously a new batch. I love to pull on new batches. But you guys have got to remember, New Year's Sugo Fest is obviously one of the best ones. I'd probably recommend waiting and saving your gems for that one. It, it, it probably will be better overall. If you're literally just missing Powerhouse Slasher and Driven, like if those are the ones you're missing the most, 
this would be a good one to pull on, but again, I would highly recommend waiting for New Year's. Save those gems, and you know, if, if you're free to play or someone who likes to be conservative with their gems. Um, with that said, guys, again, check out the Discord. We made some huge changes. There's going to be huge changes happening all month. And uh, if you guys have any more suggestions for the Discord, you can go ahead and let me know. Again, it's just something that we're trying out. I changed it up last night, and hopefully you guys have been enjoying the changes. I know some of you guys have. Again, feel free to come here and discuss about the new batch. So, with that said, guys, thanks all for watching. Talk to you guys the next time, and until then, peace.